The bullet mold is the fastest, easiest, and most cost-effective way to install any type of water line, electrical conduit, data, gas, or poly pipe from 3 quarter inch up to 2 inch in diameter under pavement. In this video, we will demonstrate how to use the bullet mold two-car driveway kit to install pipe under a two-car driveway. The two-car driveway kit includes one master shaft, two 64 inch long quick shafts, and a metal carrying case, a pelican case which organizes and protects the small components including a 1 inch compression point which makes a 1 and 3 quarter inch hole, an impact cap, a 1 and 3 quarter inch to 1 inch push point, a 1 and 3 quarter inch to 1 inch push cap, a half inch wrench used to open the shaft case, an extraction chain, a sled guide, a thick washer, cleaning brushes, and a packing diagram. The bullet mold tackles the most challenging unseen debris that are often encountered under pavement, such as large rocks, tree roots, asphalt, gravel, and other buried debris. Preparation Determine the depth the pipe needs to be inserted under the pavement and dig your trenches to that depth. The section of trench where you will use the bullet mole is called the entrance trench. To use the bullet mole and sled guide, you will need to add an additional 2 inches to the depth of your entrance trench. An overall length of 8 feet and the width of a shovel, about 10 inches, are usually adequate for the entrance trench. In the location this video was filmed, notice that there were substantial rocks in the ground. This is not a problem for the bullet mole. It easily pierces and penetrates the most difficult obstacles found under sidewalks and driveways. Step 1. Choose the location where you want the point to emerge in the exit pit, which we will call point A. Drive a stake in at this location. Step 2. Choose a location where you want the tool to enter. This is the penetration point, labeled in the diagram as point B. Step 3. Tie a string to point A and, lining it up with point B, stretch it at least 8 feet past point B to determine the location for the second stake, which is point C. Drive a stake into that location and stretch and tie the string to it. The string now connects point A and point C. Adjust the height of the string so that it skims the surface of the sidewalk and therefore projects the pitch of the concrete over the entrance trench. Step 4. Using the string as a reference point, check the depth of the entrance trench and add or remove dirt as necessary to ensure that the bottom of the trench is parallel to the string. Be sure to check local business codes for the trench depth regulations depending on the type of conduit that you're installing. Using the bullet mole. Step 5. Remove the metal cap from the metal case with the half inch wrench provided in the pelican case. Simply tilt the case downward and the shafts will slide out. Step 6. Take the master shaft from the case. It is easy to identify the master shaft because it will be the one that has an upset, thickened collar just behind the male thread. Thread the compression point onto the shaft all the way until it seats firmly against the thickened steel collar of the master shaft. Insert the impact cap into the opposite female threaded end of the shaft. You may need to tap it into position with a hammer. Before removing the string, we recommend you spray a line directly under it. This will act as a guide as you install the shafts. Step 7. Place the sled guide into the trench approximately 3 feet from the entrance point and place the bullet mole assembly onto the sled guide. The sled guide will support and direct the shaft. Step 8. Slide the bullet mole tool into position and press the compression point into the soil at the penetration point. You are now ready to drive the bullet mole under the driveway by striking the impact cap with a sledgehammer. A 12-pound sledgehammer is adequate, but we recommend using a 16-pound sledgehammer for best results. The sled guide will advance automatically as the tool is driven forward. As you strike the impact cap and the tool advances, the impact cap will soon come in contact with the sled guide. No need to bend down and move the sled guide forward. Just continue to strike the tool and as the impact cap comes in contact with the sled guide, each blow from the sledgehammer will advance the sled guide forward. Continue in this manner until the front of the sled guide comes in contact with the dirt and cannot advance any further. This animation shows what happens under the ground. As the compression point comes in contact with rocks or buried debris, the sharp hard point will embed itself into the rock until subsequent impact forces fracture the rock and move it out of the way as the tool advances under the pavement. Step 9. 
At this point, simply remove the impact cap and pull the sled guide backwards halfway until the end of the shaft is in the middle of the sled guide. This will support the female threads of the shaft off the ground and allow for the next shaft to be easily screwed in. Notice that the shaft is threaded in all the way to the indicator line. Now pull the sled guide backwards somewhere beyond the middle of the new shaft just added. Replace the impact cap and continue driving this shaft until the front of the sled guide again comes in contact with the dirt and cannot advance any further. Continue in this manner until the compression point emerges into the exit pit. Step 10. When the compression point emerges in the exit pit, simply unscrew it by hand. No wrenches are necessary. Pull the shaft back through to the entrance trench. Here are some tips to help you extract the shafts. In some cases, where there are lots of roots, rocks, or gravel, it may be difficult to extract one or more of the shafts. If this is the case, then simply screw the extraction chain into the female thread of the shaft where the impact cap was removed from. If the shafts are difficult to remove, then a number of techniques may be used to gain leverage to pull them out. The simplest way would be to insert the handle of the sledgehammer into the ring at the end of the extraction chain and use the sledge as sort of a slide hammer you would push the hammer all the way forward then abruptly jerk it backwards. As the head of the sledge seats against the ring it will pound the shafts out backwards. A digging bar with a bullet mole accessory we call a digging bar hook can also be used to pry the shafts out. We recommend securing the digging bar hook approximately 10 inches from the end of the bar. Lay the strut channel in the bottom of the entrance trench with the strut stop seated against the dirt of the entrance trench directly below the shaft that is to be extracted. On the opposite end of the strut channel, secure both sides with flat stakes. Attach the extraction chain to the shaft. Next, insert the ring or a link in the chain into the hook of the digging bar and insert the digging bar into one of the holes on the strut channel. You can now pry the shafts out, advancing from one hole to the next as you pull in your poly pipe, inner duct, wire, or copper pipe. Typically, you will only need to do this for one or two shafts, then the rest will slide out easily insert the pipe. Step 11. Once the shafts are removed, if you haven't already pulled in the poly pipe, inner duct, copper or wire, but you need to install PVC Schedule 40, then two accessories may be helpful, a push point and a push cap. If you have them, attach the push point to the PVC pipe by threading it onto the end of the pipe. The threaded portion of the push point will cut its own threads on the inside of the PVC pipe. Next, insert the pipe and feed it through by hand to the other side of the driveway. If a pocket of gravel or roots are encountered, additional force may be needed to drive the pipe past the obstruction. If this is the case, using a push cap can be helpful. We have three sizes of push caps that fit five sizes of pipe. The one inch push cap can be used with either one inch or three quarter inch schedule 40 PVC pipe. The one and a quarter inch push cap is used on one and a quarter inch PVC and the two inch push cap works on both two inch and inch and a half PVC. And lastly, remove the push point and push cap and you are ready to connect the pipe. Remember to clean the tool parts with the brushes provided for the male and female threads, replace the thread protectors, and store them in their cases.